Hi, I'm Ed, and today we're going to make trout with browned caper butter. Alright, so here's our ingredients. We have a couple of trout, salt, pepper, butter, lemon, and capers. Very simple, just salt and pepper the, the, uh, the whole trout. Uh, and I got these pre-boned from our fish guy. If you can get that, you're way ahead of the game because, I mean, it's kind of fun to bone them after they're cooked if you know how, but if you don't, it's a real pain in the neck. So we're just going to do that and then into our frying pan. So into our pan, non-stick pan when you're cooking fish because the proteins in fish tend to stick to everything. Some butter, one or two tablespoons of butter, one or two tablespoons of olive oil. It's kind of a bigger pan and it's two fish, so I'm going to put like two of each. As soon as this melts, in with the fish. Alright, so our butter has kind of melted down, bubbled up, and stopped bubbling. So we can put our fish in. Oh, two fish, put them in closed, not open. This way we're going to brown the skin on both sides. So just watch these, you know, you're not going to cook them all the way through, you're just going to brown both sides. Maybe three minutes on each side. Alright, so these guys have been going for about three minutes. And if we look at them carefully, we'll see they're kind of partially cooked, not all the way through. There's still pink in the middle there. But I think this is a good time to flip them over. We get a little bit of browning going on. Because what we're going to do is finish these guys in the oven. So we just want to brown the skin, and they're coming out beautiful so far, so this is good. Another three, four minutes on this side. Not, not too high, kind of a medium high heat, so that they're browning, but not like burning too fast and burning the butter. Alright, so another three minutes are up, and if we look inside, we'll see they're pretty much cooked. There's a little, still a little pink in there. That's okay. Our skin is brown on both sides. So what I'm going to do is move these guys onto a plate and that plate's going to go into a, an oven not too hot like 250 to 300 I'm going to put mine on 250 and then I'm going to clean out this pan there's our little fishies and they're going right into the oven So to make our brown butter caper sauce super easy, just take a little butter. Uh, I got two fish, so I'm going to use four tablespoons of butter. So that's two tablespoons for each. We just reduce down the butter, you know, let it bubble, let it calm down, and then we let it get a little bit brown, but not burn. So you can't walk away from this. You got to watch it. As soon as it starts to brown. We chuck in our capers and then give it a little squirt of lemon juice and we're done. Then we turn the heat off and just wait until the fish is done. Alright, so our butter has foamed up and subsided on the heat. And look at that, you can just see it's turning kind of a, a brown. You can give it a little smell. There's kind of a nutty smell going on there. So, in with the capers. You don't have to cook these. There's a little flower buds from a Mediterranean herb bush. All you're going to do is just wash this for a second. Heat them up. Get some of the liquid out. The butter will brown a little bit more. Again, you got to watch it very carefully. You don't want to like burn them. Alright, so you got a little golden color coming on to the butter foam. And then Squirt a lemon, and we're done. Off with the heat, and we're just going to let this wait for the fish to finish cooking. Perfect. All right, so I had my fish in the oven for about five minutes at 250. They're all ready. No more pink on the inside, and uh, so. We can just see that. All I'm going to do is split it open because I'm going to serve a half a fish per person. And just cut that. Put it on the plate with some 
spinach and risotto. And now for our brown capered butter, just a little bit, one or two tablespoons for each person. Voila, bon appetit.